Today we're going to be looking at something much more relevant and then we, 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 we move further with a discussion on how to start small scale business. This is something that we need to begin to consider, we need to begin to look at, we need to begin to think about in order for us to be able to not just live a comfortable life but to be able to withstand some of the challenges that are going to come up in the days to come let me re-establish the fact that government will have little or nothing to do in empowering us economically the only way for us to be able to withstand some of the challenges that are going to come up tomorrow is to be able to think about what we can do for ourselves. What kind of business can I start on my own and then generate something from it? How do I start the business? What do I need to do? What do I need to put together? And then these are the things we're going to be going through. We've talked about a few things, basic rules that you need to consider in starting a business. And we've talked about how to discover the kind of business that's fit for you. I'm talking about discovering yourself. Do a personality test. And then from there, you'll be able to discover your talents that you develop into skills. And then today, we're going to be looking at something important again, which is discovering your passion and your love for the kind of business that you think you want to do a lot of people have talked have talk about okay you must have interest for what you want to do which is good but i've come to discover that passion and love are two sides of the coin that you cannot completely throw away and they are stronger than interest you must love passionately what you want to settle down to do what must drive you is the love for the business not just the money that you're going to discover from there because there will always be a time when you will be faced with challenges there will be times when some things may go wrong there will be times when uh, things may not happen the way you have projected them there will be times when money will not come in as expected there will be times even when there will be times when you may even be at loss what will keep you there will be the love that you have for it and then that is very very important so my advice is love the business that you want to engage yourself in you must develop you must be passionate about it passion is what will keep you moving love is what will keep you there and at the time when you are faced with any form of challenge and the love and the passion that you have we make you stand strong and we make you stay there no matter how bad it may be there are a lot of people that are involved with so many things i have a brother who is into events and then it's so passionate about it you know from all indication that this is what he loves i mean a lot of people also have introduced so many things to me okay you can do this to make money you can make do that to make money but i know it's good to make money but it's not just about money it's about what you love i mean at a certain time in our business things were not moving the way they should business were not coming in money was not coming in and then it looks as if i was in a wrong place but i checked within me i knew this is what i love to do i actually abandoned a particular line of industry to come and do what i do right now because i love what i am doing and then 
I stayed there, I stayed put even though money was not coming in because I love to do it. At some point it wasn't because people had to pay us, it wasn't because we have to make money by all means and that's why we're doing what we do. We do what we do because we love to do it. And so my advice is make sure you develop genuine love for whatsoever it is that you want to do. Make sure you develop genuine passion for whatever it is that you want to do. You want to go into fashion design business, you need to make sure you love it. Don't just do it because people are doing it. Do it because you also love it. The time when money will not be coming, the time when business will not come as projected, you will still be able to stay there. You know why people move from one place to the other? They do this business today and then tomorrow they do another business and next tomorrow you see them doing another business. It's because they, in the beginning, had no love or passion for that kind of business. And let me say this, there is no business you want to engage yourself in that you will not get to the point that you're going to face your own trial moments. Times when it will look as if you made a mistake for doing that kind of business. Times when you will ask yourself who sent you to do this kind of business. And then you will discover that the only thing that will keep you there are these two things. The love and the passion that you have for this business. This is very critical and very important. Let me take it up from there. I'm talking about beyond discovering your gifts, beyond discovering your talents. There are some other things that we have to also talk about, which is beyond talents, what else do you do? Being passionate, discovering your, your, your line of business, being passionate about it, and then discovering your talents and all those things. And what do you need to do when you have discovered your talent, you're passionate about it, you love it, and what do you need to do is to take it a little step further. Now, I'm talking about how to turn your talent into a skill. This is important. How do I turn my talent into a skill? I have discovered my talent. Now I know what God has gifted me with. How do I make money from Him? Number one is to do what I call constant practice. You love music. You love to sing. Now, this is what you know God has gifted you with. You don't struggle to do it. It's there and you are now aware of it. You love to, to cook and then you do it naturally. And then when you cook, everybody who tastes the food make good comments. This is a gift. Now, it is not everybody that actually have these gifts. It is not everybody that have this gift to cook good food that everybody enjoys. But you know, without being told what to do, you know what and what to have together to deliver good meal. And everybody loves it. Now, this is what you know God has gifted you with. And now, how do you move from there to begin to convert it to something that people need to pay you for. I've had a lot of stories of people who just love to cook and do dishes for people and dish food for people and all those things. And then from there, I started a restaurant. And then before you know it, it became something big and became something big that today it's something to reckon with. So the first thing is do what I call constant practice. You do it consistently, you do it continuously until it becomes something that you master. You love to sing and you continue to sing to yourself, sing in the house, sing to a group of people continuously. Practice, they say, makes perfect. 
don't say because oh this is what i've done yesterday i don't need to do it again tomorrow you continue to do it even when nobody pay attention to you even nobody recognizes you even nobody pays you for it you continue to do it and do it over and over again until it becomes a skill that without being told you know what to do this is very very important sometimes you love to decorate the house you love to change the way things are placed you love to put this hair put this there make the whole environment look neat and, and and nice this is a gift not everybody has that same gift and then you need to continue to do it continuously over and over again until it becomes a skill that people recognize and then they can pay you value for it at the end of the day then the second point of how to turn your talents to a skill is to do what i call continuous training and training comes in different forms you can get books to train yourself you can also attend programs training where people who are skillful in that line of you know business already doing something and a call for training that you you need to attend that kind of training to be able to understand how things are done in that regard so look around for people who are doing the same doing the same thing and then um, that relates to your talents and how to serve them and then work with them submit to them and then without thinking of the money you are going to get from there i mean if i tell you my story i used to work somewhere and then my pay was not too bad at that time but i knew it wasn't what i was gifted for i was not called to do it and then i pulled out to do something that i believe is what i love and something I, I i was passionate about and then the pay was very discouraging and not